Hello and welcome to another edition of Tasting History and today we're going to go ahead and taste a drink that became popular during the mid-1860s. The origin of the drink itself has origins that go back to the Arabic countries and by the late 1790s, early 1800s, it was introduced in Virginia. We're going to talk a little bit about the official cocktail of the Kentucky Derby known as the Mint Julep. So the Mint Julep all you can have it in a silver goblet or here we have more along the lines of a wine glass here and it's real simple here you have your water about two and a half ounces one tablespoon of sugar we'll go ahead and give that a mix in there Now I'm going to add a couple sprigs of mint, but I'm also going to kind of break the leaves up here to release the, uh, the mint itself. And then we're just going to go ahead and take this and just kind of keep working it. I'm trying to extract the mint flavoring out of it. have a little bit of green in here which is telling me that the uh, water is extracting a little bit of that mint flavor out of it now it requires about three ounces of whiskey or some of the earlier recipes called for rum or even brandy here we are going to use bourbon Put that in there we'll go ahead and put a garnish in there of mint now from this point here you can add raspberries or strawberries or even orange peels to it to kind of give it some character and then after that you're just basically going to add out of crushed ice. I'm just going to go ahead and add ice cubes to it. Now you can serve this with two straws that way you can share it. However, to me sometimes I like it just plain. And here's to you. see why this drink became popular in Washington DC in 1850. I can also see why this drink became popular with many of our presidents including Teddy Roosevelt who had his own recipe for this and I can understand why this drink here is still popular today. You still have a little bit of the burn of the liquor however you have the sugar that kind of gives it the sweetness and then the mint itself which kind of gives you like a refreshing aftertaste. And I can understand why, when this drink was introduced in Virginia and spread across the South. So. With these types of um, tasting history videos here that deal with alcohol, I am going to go ahead and record these from the safety of my house. But if you ever want to give it a chance and try it yourself, there are so many different cool recipes out on the internet or you can even search out the original 1800 recipes. So, all right guys, cheers.